Hello from Paul Hand and welcome to Vanta, Finland's fourth most populated city. Finland is one of the world's northernmost countries bordering the Baltic Sea and this land of the midnight sun offers visitors beautiful scenery, wonderful outdoors adventures and delicious cuisine. With its numerous lakes, rivers and marshlands, plus 78% uh, of the country in forest land, Finland from the air looks like an intricate green and blue jigsaw puzzle. The Babbitton's elite descend on Vanta for eight days of premier Babbitton action here at the Energia Arena for the Total Energies BWF Sudaman Cup Finals. The first time the Finland's hosting a major BWF event and China are the defending champions. Babbitton action to unfold all week here at the Energia Arena. Grade 1, 17th edition of the World Mixed Team Championships which takes place every two years. Only three nations have ever won the Sudaman Cup. China in 11 times, Korea four times. Here's our map showing the extensive reach of the participating teams from far and wide across the globe. Indeed, from all five continents, from French Polynesia, Egypt, China. And we have a new competition format involving only 16 teams playing in four groups. Days one to four feature group stage action to be concluded by Thursday night. Following that, quarterfinals on Friday semi-finals Saturday and Sunday's finals. The Sudaman Cup a test of the all-round strength of a team. Five matches in every time. Men's and women's singles, men's and women's doubles and mixed action as well of course. The team reaching three victories wins the overall tie and uh, well talking of tie, Thailand the three-time semi-finalist, India twice quarter-finalists. They're all here and this is what we'll be watching today. Malaysia up first against England at 10 o'clock from Group D on Court 2 here. And then following that, 4 o'clock, we've got Group C's Denmark twice runners up against dangerous NBFR. And given the dominance of the Group D rivals Japan, this is a pivotal match regarding the progression to quarterfinals in Group D. It's a very young Malaysian team against a very doubles dependent English team. Session one, confirmation, court two, group D, Malaysia take on England. Battle of former semi-finalists, this Malaysia made the semi-finals in 2009, England in 2007. Well, this is a duo huddle or a kind of cuddle, I guess, Stephen uh, Smallwood and Jess Hopton singing the national anthem there. And here's our order of play. First up, it's a mixed doubles to get the tie underway, featuring recent European Championship finalists Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith against Hu and Cha. Then top 10 star reigning All England Open champion Li Zijia takes on Torison. Men's doubles, third match, a potential blockbuster there and a pivotal match in the overall context of the tie between two top 20 teams. And surprise to many that Chloe Birch isn't contesting the women's singles. England have uh, given Ab Abigail Holden the nod there and uh, to attempt to slay Kisona Salvadore, who uh, herself is knocking on the door of the top 50, the Malaysian. And like the men's doubles, an all enticing top 20 women's doubles to round out the action on show court two. Remember, Malaysia declared their hand as gunning for the singles strength and uh, hoping to squeak a doubles as well. First to three, of course, for England. It's all about securing the three doubles to win. So high quality doubles to look out for. Plenty of action, something for everyone on today's generous order of play. Our court officials are wedding the walk-on of the players, but very soon it'll be three courts full of day two group matches poised and ready to unfold around the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the players. On court one, in the tie between China and India, men's doubles. Liu Cheng, Zhou Han. So the athletes coming on to court one, the China against India. Japan and Egypt will be doing battle on the end, opposite end to this, if you like. That will be on court three, and we'll be stationed here on court two, which is kind of right down the other end, if you will. Three courts in action, that will be down to two tomorrow. But we're awaiting the walk-on of Malaysia, England. Here they come. Malaysia and England, mixed doubles. Who can come? 
Well, no 30-somethings. The Rio Olympic silverless, silver medalist Go and Tan are uh, absent from the Malaysian pack this year. They've opted not to take their uh, three highest-ranked mixed doubles pairs, maybe because they're independent, independent players, I guess. And here come the athletes. Led out by Hu Pan Rod and Chai Si. And Mark Salas Lawrence Smith. Well, they've met once before, these two teams. That was uh, three years ago, back in August. Indeed, the end of August 2018. Barcelona, Spain, Masters it was. And, uh, well, I'll tell you that... Uh, the English duo won that one. Tight affair, though. 21-11 in the deciding match. Let's listen in to the coin toss. Okay. Our umpire from the States, Cody Leach. So the Malaysians won the toss, elected to choose the far end, away from our main camera position, and Lauren Smith will serve to get us underway in this first match in the overall tie. Malaysia taking on England. The warm-up begins. Twenty-three-year-old Kul Pangron from. KL, the Malaysian capital, has been uh, just one spot higher on the rankings with his partner Che Yisi, ranked currently at 27th in the world, 1 meter 78 tall. And uh, well, they made the semi finals of the Toyota Thailand Open in January, these two. They've played seven matches this year, won three, lost four as we say hello to Che Yisi, 25 years of age. Born in Pulau, Penang, as I say. They've been playing some very good badminton so far this year, these two. 10, 20 world ranking spots between these two teams. As we say hello to uh, Marcus Ellis. 32 years of age. These days, the veteran on the court, if you will, would hate me for saying that, wouldn't he? Five foot nine from uh, Huddersfield originally, and of course resides in Milton Keynes, and his partner from Cumbria, Carlisle. Two years younger, but uh, playing off a uh, career high ranking pretty much eighth in the world well they certainly are a consistent performing top 10 pairing now Smith and uh, Ellis Cody Leach in the chair mentioned that already they've had uh, 14 wins and only nine losses this year Marcus and Lauren having contested 23 matches the service judge local fellow Timu Voronen so remember, England are backing on this one in particular to try and secure victory today. It's the first team to three wins, but the England, English uh, captains will have their eyes on doubles victory. Malaysia, well, they are far stronger in ranking for the singles. But this, such a massive tie in the overall context of the group. What with Japan being so strong as well, it really is important that these guys all get off to a very good start. Yeah, so Japan against England on court three as we speak, the challenger even more uphill for Egypt. And they've only got four players. Talk about multi-skilling over there on three. But here we go then, it's mixed doubles to uh, just about... Uh, 
start here. The Malaysians are ready, honed. To a repeat of the Barcelona Spain Masters match back in 2018. A lot of uh, waters passed under the bridge since then. And we do know the Malaysians are much improved, but so are the English duo as well. Anxious moments these, the athletes just want to get cracking. They're all fired up, ready to unleash the fury. Paul Hand in the commentary position for this one. Looking forward to your company. On my right, Malaysia, represented by Hu, Pan Ron, Chia, Yi Siu. And on my left, England, represented by Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. England to serve, Lauren Smith, Ishia, Yi Siu, La Ball, Play. Gillian Robertson, English coach. Well, fine start for both teams. Long, tough rallies. Big fight at the net between the women we anticipate. Cha and Smith going toe to toe up there. Aggressive from the Malaysians. Yeah, so the English duo, they lost in the final of the European Championships in May to the Russians, Rodion Alimov and Alina Davlitova. 15-21 in the deciding game, an hour and five minutes it took. But they've had a pretty tasty year. Three times round of 16 showings in Thailand at the top of the year. Third round of the World Tour Finals. A couple of semi-finals, the Swiss Open in March and the All England Open following that as well. In the Olympic Games, they lost out to Hong Kong, China, Thailand and so in straight games in the quarterfinals. But they've a wealth of experience to pull on and they will be assisted a lot by their teammates. Well, our score graphic doesn't seem to be turning, but it is 4-3 in favour of uh, the English pairing at the moment. Shall you see? Well, 
or very little between these two in the early exchanges here. 20 world ranking spots between them. World number 27's at the top of the picture, playing against the red team, number 7's in the world, if you will. So expectancy and Team England to come through this one. Having won the previous head-to-head, -head, but as I said, that was three years ago, seems almost irrelevant. Changing the attack lines. Kupang Ron and his partner keeping the English very honest, mixing it up nicely. Deadlock opening stages, five all. play from Marcus Ellis there, targeting all of the traffic towards Chase Very solid and determined here. Look at that. She bore the brunt of the traffic. Keeping who out of the match as much as they can in these early stages. Though he's very imposing, the Malaysian. hunting at the net, isn't she? Well, the Malaysian team, typically, with a good flat game, and they like to get on the attacks first. That's their kind of calling card. Job there from Chai. You see at the net, just seemingly making Lauren Smith take her eye off the shuttle momentarily. There, she was just a blur of activity up there. The Malaysian, really good work from her. Very proactive. Still so little in this early stages here. Team at this stage getting any more than a run of two consecutive points. It's been nip and tuck the whole way here. Blistering pace from the Malaysians. Really starting to ignite here. Settling nicely. Nine, seven. Some balance from Lauren Smith there just to build on the good work from her Eight. partner, life Nine. partner, doubles partner. Really good. Living away at the deficit, the English now. And they're really being tested here, as we anticipated. Six, 
Good deception from Marcus Ellis, mixing it up nicely, lovely lift away. Nice length on that. Utter focus on the task at hand. Super play, really very well done. Ten, nine. I didn't expect that one from Lauren Smith. Ellis and Lauren Smith into the turn we go. And Alison Smith, the world number sevens, have a two point cushion. 11 9 they lead. the top 10 with the round of 16 Indonesian Masters showing back in 2020 they won the Thai Masters at the end of January of that year quarterfinals of the Barcelona Spain Masters in February semis of the All England in March they had a really good run back then into the top 10 and they've pretty much stayed there since reading the play nicely service over Ten, eleven. A lot of stick on that. Oh, parity once again. Can the English generate that uh, run of four consecutive points that they did earlier to get that heady advantage of what was 11-7? Oh, the back behind was just like a rabbit being pulled out of the hat there. Pang Ron, that was something very special. That'll get on the highlights reel. Look at this. Magical. <laughs> Perplexing the English with that wizardry. Unsighted. Change, go ahead. So unsighted with the serve that might have landed in, might have landed out. Marcus Sellis opted to leave it. So let's see what uh, Hawkeye has to out say about it. Okay, it has been over. out, so 12. great lead from oh. Marcus. Click. Stopping the run of points at three for the Malaysians. Oh yes, wonderful change up Service over. from Chai C. 13, 12. Oh. 
Service over. 13, all. Super alert there. Still nothing between them in this very tight opening. Passages of play here. Oh, that's brilliant from who, who read the play so quickly, sensed that Marcus was in a bit of a hole and closed the net down, 14, took the shuttle 13. at its apex. Look at this, watch him, so quick to follow up. Absolutely greedy with the return there, but uh, it's easy from here, not down there. Kupang round 16 on the offence again. Change. The 23 year old looking very dangerous right now. Really got all of his muscle behind that one. Buckled Marcus Ellis into error. So, three point cushion for the Malaysians. Confusion between the English there. That moment of hesitancy cost them four consecutive Malaysian points have just been notched on the scoreboard. Service fault called too high. Struck above 115, fault Service called 14, 17. I think it might have been dropping in, you know. Marcus Ellis had to play it in the end, but could do nothing with it. He was so convinced it was going long, just a little lapse in concentration there. Steely-eyed focus, almost anxious looking right now. A lot of pressure on the English duo. Expectancy, top ten pairing and all that. Well, there was hesitancy there from Wu Pang Rong, wasn't there? There's been some nervous play towards the sharp end of this opening game. He was dithering there. And it reflected in his shot quality. the line with the straight smash and that is three English points in a row and the English team behind the court going wild with encouragement and enthusiasm for their red clad warriors from Lauren Smith, terrific, really proactive, and they have taken this.
by the reins where there's been hesitancy and a little doubt in the minds of Huan Chia. Suddenly the English break to the front again. Now they do, anyhow. Roars of approval 18. all around the stadium. 18. A slender one point lead. Remember, they were 13 17 down earlier in this game, but he, who Pang Rom, has just been consumed by doubt, seemingly. Perhaps he doesn't believe that he can beat this English tandem. break off the net. Lauren so could do nothing with that. 19. Oh. But the Malaysians very streaky. They could suddenly just flip the switch. Certainly, just when you thought the momentum was turning the other way, Hu Pang Wong and Chai Yu Si secured game point. Outstanding from Chai Yu Si. And Hu Pang Rong, the young Malaysians needed just 21 minutes to somehow steal that opening game. Having been down at the death of it, they eventually found a way to come through. 21 19. After 21 minutes. Also, bronze medalist in Rio men's doubles with Chris Langridge, who's uh, not made the trip. Julian Robertson takes to his seat after some pearls of wisdom have been imparted. Here we go, then, start of game two. Malaysia, a game to the good here. Good injection of pace from Marcus Ellis. Play. 
Singles over. One. All. Chinchu. Generous Malaysian camp. There's a lot of dignitaries. And there's the English camp. Far smaller. Chloe Birch on the left of the picture there. Smile of frustration. Malaysia, four times quarterfinalists as well as a semi final showing in 2009. One of those uh, quarter final showings was in the last tournament cup in 2019 in Nanning. So I guess you could say, with just that solitary English semi final showing, that Malaysia are far more used to going deep in this competition than Team England. That said, they were without. Uh, their three top mixed doubles pairings. Four, two. But of course, with all of these teams, it's all about setting up these lines of succession. Who is going to follow on from the elder players? You know, you've got a chance to put your stake in the ground and let the youngsters have a go. Five, two. And Malaysia have been forced to do just that. The youngster Li Jinja, as captain of the team in men's singles at 23 years of age, has definitely done that. World well, number eight now, there's no doubting that. Concerna Salvadorai, 22 year old, 53 ranked women's singles. Same. Indeed, they're up their strongest in the singles Three, disciplines, the Malaysians. Five. For England, we've got Johnny. Tullyusen, the 22-year-old from Oxford born, he'll be uh, making his debut showing in Sullivan Cup. As will Abigail Holden as well, 22 years of age, of women's singles. Oh, I love the idea, the change-up. But it just missed from Marcus Ellis. Just where she wanted it as well, Lauren, there. Oh. Matches like this hinge on moments like that, don't they? Just the odd millimetre here and there. It didn't miss by much. Look at her reaction as well. Told its own story. Central. Good leave. Sighting of Ben Lane. He'll be in men's doubles action. Alongside uh, his partner, Sean Vendy. 
They've been playing some serious badminton, those two. Six, seven. But among the other fresh faces named in the England team are 16-year-old Estelle van Leuven. He's already played at the uh, Spanish Junior International. Seven. Oh. Well, akin to the opening game, this one really is very, very tight. But who, uh, he was just a little bit sort of tight at the back end of that opening game, having had that 17-13 lead, then got a little tight, but somehow managed to sneak and to secure it. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds towards the back end of this one. Service over, eight, seven. First string break of the day. And court two. Goes to Hoop and Ron. There's the stringers down actually, just to the behind court three at the other end of the stadium. And they are busy, boy. They must have six to eight string machines down there. There's a lot of weaving going on as we speak. Clever little flex serve, changing it up nicely no. by Hupang Ron, and then good follow up to his uh, partner JUC as well. Such a fan of these pro athletes, you know, because this, you know, performance badminton can just hinge on a knife edge kind of at any stage. You know, how did you sleep last night? How are you feeling? Every day you come out, you perform, and you're only as good as your, as your last match, frankly. These moments of such magnitude with such little margin. These guys utterly focused and wired, eyes popping out of heads to see the shuttle as quickly as they can. Good lead from Lauren Smith there. 11, 9, interval. So again, as we did in the opening game, it's Alison Smith that head to the turn with a slender lead. 11 points to 9. Can they hold on? The question on everybody's lips. Time that England met Malaysia 
was in the uh, sort of in Cup in Glasgow 2007. Then in Group A, England won 3-2, winning all three doubles despite losing both singles. That was in the Lee Chong Wei era. Then they went on to progress to the best ever Super Cup showing in the semi finals back then. They'd love to replicate that today. That was in the days of Anthony Clark and Gay Lems. Clark, he won a pivotal three game doubles in men's doubles. Good string there from Marcus Ellis. Really getting some heat on that. Good force and play from Ellis. Sweet timing and a lot of muscle behind that. Smith in the driving seat here. Just not been quite as razor sharp as we've uh, so often seen them. But the margins are fine, there's not a lot in it. And they're looking to find the next gear. Three consecutive points for the blue team. Troubling times for Team England right now. They've got to dig really deep in this must-win game from their perspective. Electric from who? Pan Jumping for joy. Defensive play from Marcus Ellis there. Lovely little block. That was really nice. Cross block from the top draw. Who's going to blink first? Thank you. 
Standing point from both teams. Fought for a while that Malaysia did so well to neutralize there and hold the point back to parity. This was a tremendous get there from Chaya C. Yes, you may work. Marcus Ellis patiently rebuilt. And got uh, rewarded for it in the end, but there was some point there. Longest rally of the match, 37 shots. Okay. Back to both this. Jim, back and forth. Thank you. Oh, yeah, good enough. Shia. 15, 14. Sending out the commands behind the back of Lauren Smith was Marcus Ellis there, where I'm gonna serve. Badminton from Team England there. 16, 14. Finding the slender holes on the court here. Really well engineered. Oh, it seems that Chair you see, is perhaps bleeding a little. The doctor's been called to court, so we'll. Uh, luckily, he's very close. Here he is right now. Stinging a little, but it should stem any bleeding. That was the instant there where she went down, skidding along the floor. Really, look at this for dynamic, fabulously explosive first step, and it was that right knee that got scuffed when she hit the deck. Let's see how that's responded. Okay, so we're all okay. And a two-point cushion for Ellison Smith doesn't mean much at this stage, still having to work extremely hard out here. She's missed a few of those today, Lauren. Right on the tip of the tape. But she's got to credit her proactivity, looking to damage all the time, pressing as hard as they possibly can, but uh, walking a very tight, tight rope of tempered aggression. Too much pace from Hu Pang Rong. 16. Oh, change. He was everywhere at once, wasn't he? Ghostly speed from Hu.
17-16. And again, just enough heat on the smash from Hu Peng Wong. And suddenly, a two-point cushion that Alison Smith had has uh, dissipated and has turned the other way. Well, suddenly four in a row from the Malaysians. They really are looking confident now. Three points away from victory in this opening rubber. Super return from Marcus Ellis. Boy, was that courageous. He got on top of that really quickly. 17, 18. And who was after it? To no avail in the end of this. Very clever return of serve from Marcus Ellis there. Very gutsy. Rolled the dice and it paid dividends. Seventeen. 18. Get ready. Again, blistering pace overhead from Poupang Wong. 17. Two points away now. All of these players so used to being under pressure right till the very end. Well, the Malaysians really have up the tempo and they've been rewarded after 47 minutes of action. It's the Malaysians that have three match points. Gone long over the back line, and that is an upset. The world number sevens, Alison Smith, go down in the opening rubber to the world number 27s, who play well. Malaysia. And Charlie, you see. 19, 19 and 18 on their second match point opportunity. A really solid showing by Hu Pang Ron and Charlie, you see. 48 minutes was all they needed, and that was a terrific start for Team Malaysia, causing the upset in the mixed doubles. 23-year-old and a 25-year-old delighting their camp courtside. That is a really big start for the Malaysians. All smiles for the team in blue. Ever gracious. For the opening win going to... Kupang Rod and Cha Yi Si. Confirmation of the score there. 21 19, 21 18. Next up, it's going to be Li Zi Zha. That's the world number eight, the 23 year old who takes on Johnny Tunyusen of England. 22 years of age, 202 in the world. So don't go too far. That'll be up very, very shortly. We'll leave you with some. Highlights action, but it'll be men's singles next. Yeah. Following that, it'll be men's yeah. doubles. So much more to unfold on show court two on day two. Don't go too far.
So that's the scene inside the Energia Arena right now. And uh, Malaysia off to a flyer, winning the mixed doubles in straight games, courtesy of Hu Pan Ron and Che Yi Si. 21-19, 21-18, Downing, Ellison, Smith.